Hey guys, so uh, here's my water catchment system. There are three 275 gallon tanks. Um, I think that's uh, 825 gallons total. They came clear. I paid uh, 85 bucks a piece for them off Craigslist. These two had um, corn syrup in them. And the end one over here had uh, organic sunflower oil. And um, they're, you know, waste from the food industry. Um, I put a screen netting over the top and uh, to filter out and keep any larvae larva from getting out of there. Um, they were clear. I painted them blue in hopes that I can keep a lot of light out of them. Uh, you really can't see any light blue color coming out of, on the other um, in through here. So there's no sunlight coming through. So hopefully the algae won't grow so much. Um, they have a big cap on the front and uh, that's holding the water back. They have a hinge right here. Um, that normally uh, was the valve that you'd open up to have the corn syrup come out. This is a standard hose fitting here with a little fitting here. And um, this is, let me think what it's called, nylon uh, crap. Bulkhead fitting called a bulkhead fitting. It's about 12, 13 bucks from Home Depot or Lowe's. And that's what you want to use. You uh, drill a hole. That's a specific size that you need to drill with like a paddle bit or a hole saw. And then you just screw it in hand tight. It holds water. Holds it good. And um, I have three different um, expandable black accordion tubes for uh, water drainage. I put a Y connector on the uh, garage and uh, bolted it to the side and then you uh, swap either one of these um, fittings off of here to uh, their different lengths to accommodate each tank of three tanks. Um, I don't have them all fitted together. I know some people might say that I should or something but uh, you know what they fill up really slow so uh, that's just fine. Um, our garage is probably 40 feet long on this side that's actually guttered. You can kind of see here and I temporarily piped in the water from the other side. I just uh, ran the downspout around because uh, it's getting kind of dry around here. Um, I live in Vancouver, Washington, not far from Portland, and uh, the summer times are in uh, late spring can be really, really dry. Uh, I just wanted to use rainwater on my garden, save some money. And um, I guess this is a future investment. I'm not really saving money this year. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I am now going to run something over here because the water is obviously spilling over. I filled up all these tanks and um, I don't want the, any erosion to occur down here so I'm just going to run a pipe out into the yard a little bit further and put a piece of plastic down where it comes out in case it's gushing so that, uh, so that we don't get any erosion. But uh, I'm really excited. This is our garden space. We just tilled it up and uh, it's really good mid-afternoon and evening sun, um, even though there's a garage here. That's uh, north, so this is, you know, west here and south. Uh, there's some big trees, so maybe around 1 or 2 p.m. in the afternoon we start getting some really good sun. I'm excited. Open up a big fence around our perimeter here to keep the dogs out, but rabbits and deer and such will easily find their way in, I'm sure. Hey, Ben. Ben, say hi. What's up, dude? Cody. Come here, Cody. Oh, look. You're not going to be able to get in here pretty soon. That sucks, huh? Does that suck?